Hi, it's Andrea Dancing Star, and we're going to read cards for the astrological sign of Virgo. Oh, I'm feeling so much better. And I want to take this moment to please like this video, please subscribe, please share this video. It is free for you. It costs you nothing. Um, but it helps me greatly, and I thank you. So let's see, let's shuffle like two more times for Virgo. I've been kind of meditating for Virgo before I hit record. You can see what, what messages can I get for Virgo. Okay, so what does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Okay. Two of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Well, let's get a couple more cards. A couple more cards. That was the Nine of Swords wanted to come out. Maybe having some hesitation, maybe feeling some anxiety. Wow, that was strength reverse, fell out again. Is there like some kind of an issue with the Leo? Tell me more for Virgo. Tell me more for Virgo. Tell me more for Virgo. The star, Aquarius energy, and the Queen of Wands. Interesting. So strength came out reverse, like possibly maybe a little bit of a manipulative Leo, a weak Leo, a Leo who's not in the picture. But then we have the Queen of Wands, which is also like Leo energy, but it's upright. It's this woman is this is sexual energy, a lot of lot of passionate sexual energy. But then we have the star Aquarius energy. They're like a really passionate sexual Aquarius. Let's see what this is. Again, Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. That kind of wanted to come out earlier, so let's see. Page of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. And then also the Hierophant reversed. Okay, so Virgo, it looks like you met an Aquarius. Um, it looks like this Aquarius was definitely in their power. There was like a lot of hope. There was a lot of hope. There was a lot of inspiration. There was a lot of guidance. Um, it didn't get a chance to get off the ground, really. Um... It's almost like you just met this person and then things things were good, things were beautiful, and then they were gone. Um, and it looks like, I mean, I really feel like there's some kind of Leo energy that's kind of like, um, there's some kind of Leo energy that is to blame, so to speak, for why this didn't go off, why it didn't take off. Why it ended kind of quickly. It was going to be a brand new world. It was definitely going to be a brand new world. So this is on your mind. This is on your mind. The Page of Pentacles reversed. I mean, it looks kind of like there wasn't enough money to support this situation. Um, yeah. There really wasn't enough money to support this situation. And or... You know, like, it's a possibility that someone in this situation, maybe it's the Aquarius in this situation, the star in this situation, maybe they just didn't think that it was, you know, going to be financially beneficial for either one of you. That's a possibility as well. Maybe they didn't feel um, confident in their ability to, to sustain this relationship. 
it definitely does look like someone, it definitely looks like there's someone who was either, I don't want to say someone who was having like sex for money, but there's definitely this energy with the Knight of Wands that someone was being very opportunistic or maybe someone viewed someone as being opportunistic with their energy, you know, um, as far as money and sex. Like, maybe possibly someone thought someone was using them for money, like having sex with them, trying to have a relationship with them for money. It's a possibility as well. It's also a possibility that someone, maybe it's this Aquarius energy, maybe it was you, Virgo. Maybe they saw the other as maybe a little bit um, like they might, they might not be completely honest, like they might have one night stands, like they might be with other people, because the Knight of Wands is definitely one night stand energy, it's passionate, fiery energy, it comes in real hot and heavy, it always leaves the next morning, you know, it never stays around, it's very sexually passionate though, um, and then the Hierophant reversed, you know, there was... There was no contract made. There was there was no learning from each other. There was no teaching each other. There was no there was no like divine union. I feel kind of like I feel kind of like both people in this situation Virgo didn't learn what they were supposed to learn in this situation. Also, Nine of Swords, Nightmares, Anxieties, Worries. This is keeping you up at night. This has kind of got you... This has got you in worries and nightmares. This has got you thinking about it at night. Why? Is it because Virgo likes details and is possibly could be on a high vibe? Just don't take this the wrong way, but maybe a little bit obsessed about what they think should happen. That's a Virgo trait. It's not a bad thing. The tower sideways, eight of cups. If you want to walk away from it, it's almost like this union with this Aquarius energy kind of was somehow it not working out really took like shook your world to the ground. It shook the whole ground of your world. You've rebuilt your the ground in your world now, but it's still on your mind. You want to walk away from it. You want to walk away from it. I mean, you kind of did walk away from it, but obviously you didn't walk completely away from it because it's in your mind. Why is this still in Virgo's mind? What was that card? Ace of Pentacles, because you know what it was supposed to be. You know what it was supposed to bring. You know how beautiful it was supposed to be. Well, so what should Virgo do? What should Virgo do in this situation? Five of Wands, fight. I mean, bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. You should fight. I mean, if you want it. If you can't stop thinking about it, if it was supposed to be so beautiful, and if you want it so bad, and you knew it so much, you should fight for it. Um, uh, maybe stop wondering if... Stop wondering. Stop wondering. I think maybe you've thought about fighting for it. I think maybe you've thought about um, trying to be romantic in this situation. Offering a cup of love. Definitely there was some judgment called on you in the past in this situation. Um, I think possibly you may be believing that it's not going to work, that it couldn't work. That it would be rejected again. And you know what? Maybe it might be. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. 
Confidence is key in winning anyone's affections. I can tell you that much. I don't care who you are. Confidence. Confidence speaks louder sometimes than money. Confidence is, confidence is a game changer. Um, let's see. What does Virgo actually want? What does Virgo actually want? I mean, I guess they want to walk away. Then, if they really truly want to walk away, why are they still up at night thinking about what might have been? I just keep thinking about that little Texas song, What Might Have Been. It keeps playing in my head. Virgo. What do they actually truly want? Ace of Pentacles in a different deck. And the Ten of Wands reversed. The... Whew, Virgo, you just want the brand new opportunity. You're so tired of feeling defensive. You're so tired of feeling cheated. You're so tired of feeling um, possibly cunning, possibly um, sorrow, pain, all of these negative emotions, all of the things that do not build up and create a beautiful, happy home and a whole new world, you're tired of feeling all of those things. You want out of that. That's what you want. You want a brand new world. You want a brand new opportunity. Okay. Well, what action should Virgo take to achieve their own personal goals, their goals in their life? Ace of Cups reversed. Okay, so you need to somehow transform this. You need to transform this situation. You need to transform the fact that possibly love was rejected. Love was... Love did not happen. Love may have turned you down. You may have turned someone else's love down. You know what? Maybe all the different types of love did not work out. Somehow, you need to reconcile this. You need to sit down. You need to think about all of the different aspects in your life where love has not worked out and where it is wearing on your psyche, where it is weighing on your soul. And you need to say, I'm going to let this go. And you need to let it go. And you really need to let it go. And then you need to... Start focusing logically on venturing out into your own new life, a new life, a new adventure, a new journey that is based on you, the solid foundation of you, and not the questioning, not the sadness, not the loss, and not the grief of love that was lost in the past. If you want to get out of this, if you want to start a new world, if you want to reach the Ace of Pentacles moment, it may not be with a person that you lost, that you miss, that you think of. What might have been, what might have been, those are sometimes very, very, you know, bittersweet, nostalgic thoughts. They go perfectly with poetry and sad country music. But for Ace of Pentacles, brand new life moments, we've got to put those aside. We've got to reconcile them. We've got to recognize them. And we've got to put them away and start over new. Logically, solid foundation, two feet on the ground, and knowing yourself, loving yourself. Setting yourself up for success. <sighs> if Virgo can release this, this inability to transform, if Virgo could actually transform this loss of love from their past, what would the universe bring in place? If Virgo can release 
this loss of love. I think you're going to have a really hard time letting this go. I just think you're going to have a really hard time letting this go. Well, and also, I think you're going to have a hard time letting this go, but also, I think that you will be getting rid of any kind of a doubt in your own personal life. I feel like you probably have like a really fantastic intuition and I feel like this high priestess reverse energy is indicating possibly you not believing in yourself but also you allowing in possibly some feminine energy that is incredibly manipulative, incredibly dark. They know a lot about the occult. They know a lot about like witchcraft. They know a lot about magic. And they're incredibly dark. And I feel like it's kind of consumed you. And it it's consumed you in such a way that you don't even believe in your own intuition anymore. You don't even listen to yourself anymore. That's probably one of the big contributing factors to keeping yourself up at night. <sighs> it's going to be really hard for you to transform this, but if you could transform this, if you could let go, just recognize all of the hurts. All of the hurts that come with the loss of different loves. And Transform them. Release them. Let go. Stop trying. Stop holding on. Just stop. You would be able to cut out the doubt and the uncertainty that you feel in your own life. Because that's what the high priestess reverse does and creates is, is doubt. It's one of the main things that she creates is doubt. Doubt is not conducive to happiness. Doubt sows the seeds of instability and fear. And that's no way to live. Cut all of this out, Virgo. Take a look at everywhere that you've been hurt. Acknowledge it. Possibly cry for it if you need to. And let it go. Release it. Transform it. Let it die. So all of this negativity that has accompanied it and weighed you down can die with it. And you can start new to get to your Ace of Pentacles.